So whenever you go to a live show, there's a couple of rules that you just sort of follow, you know, concert etiquette, I guess. You know, you always want to have a good seat, but if you don't want to mosh, then you should probably keep yourself from that area. Either that, or just prepare yourself to, you know, catch people and keep them going, as opposed to attempt to participate. You know, make sure that you're not on your phones. Corey Taylor told us that. Though we're going to talk about him here in a minute, so maybe there's more that we just don't know about. And oh yeah, um, this is pretty important. Don't spit on the performer that you're there to see. That kind of just comes off as a little douchey. There are two separate incidents, uh, and these stories broke within a couple of hours of one another, and it's pretty... I don't want to say this is interesting, because the one is kind of disgusting, um, but the other one is really sort of a mystery, and it involves uh, two bands that seem to be in the news quite a good bit, um, Slayer and Slipknot. Now, the first of which that we're going to speak about is the one where there's a little more information, the video that is... Uh, has been given to us based off of this can essentially show the whole thing playing out. Uh, somebody spat on Tom Araya, and this was at a show that was uh, in San Diego for San Diego Comic Con. Uh, the band was promoting the fact that they were going to have a comic book series, I think it's a three issue mini series based off of uh, Repentless, off of their last album from 2015. And everything was going well, and before going into a song, Someone just spat on Tom Araya while he was talking and making some pretty bad puns about people getting animated. <laughs> I kind of like the joke, I'm a dork, shut the fuck up. So, you might wonder how could he tell that it was spit and not water? Like, have you ever spat on yourself by mistake? You know, have you ever, you know, you see in those old, like, baseball flicks or that old adage that you spit on your hands and rub them together, you're gonna get a better grip on something, that sort of slimy film that you get? with spit. Now imagine, you know, that's if you know that it's coming. Now imagine that hitting you and you didn't intend it to hit you. It's definitely something you're going to probably recognize. Tom stopped the show and really his immediate reaction was not to throw this fan out. He was trying to get an explanation as to why it was done and it didn't seem like the person who did it was willing to own up. Which also tells me that not only did Tom feel it happen, Tom may have seen it happen. He may have seen this fan rear back and just let the spit fly, quite literally. Eventually, the fan uh, was kicked from the show, which for a Slayer concert seems a little bit, you know, like a, something that doesn't happen every day. Slayers, you know, for all the, the, the shit sometimes that Slayer gets, they seem like a band that at their shows, they're pretty carefree. But then we have this second incident, and this one is extremely mysterious, and it involves everybody's favorite uh, metal punching bag, uh, Corey Taylor. And that's at a show in Canada, during the song Sick, Taylor ejected a fan basically saying, bye bitch, and telling him to get the fuck out. There's a short clip that shows this, but there's one problem. There's no real indication as to what this fan was doing. There's no real indication as to what provoked or prompted uh, this very quick exit because it was literally, he's right in the middle of sick and then, you know, calls out this fan, not by name or anything like that, but points and indicates who it is and essentially tells security to get him the fuck out. Now apparently it was maybe someone's ride and a girl left as well. Regardless of that, it's something where we don't exactly know what was going on outside of Corey's explanation on Twitter that, quote-unquote, he was being a cunt. As much as I like that phrase, it's a very Jim Jeffries phrase, it doesn't really tell us very much. It doesn't really explain to us what was going on, exactly what caused this person to be a cunt, you know. Maybe Slipknot should actually, you know, give every fan that comes to their show a detailed list of rules as to how to not be a cunt at one of their shows. Although, I'm sure if you ask Corey Taylor about it, he would believe that most people understand what those rules are without any sort of specification. And really, giving them all a list or something like that seems kind of safe spacey. Either that or it seems kind of pretentious. So I can understand why that would seem like a really stupid idea. I felt stupid saying it. But this is really mysterious considering what was it that really went down. It was something that seemed so instant. You know, with the Tom Araya incident, we knew that it was spit because he said that it was spit. And even prior to the uh, fan being ejected from the arena, 
there was a long period of time where Tom was trying to understand the meaning behind what had happened and what this fan had done. With Taylor, it just seemed like right in the middle of the song, he just got fed up. And Taylor has even said that he's getting to the point where he just doesn't want to hold back anymore. He doesn't want to hold things in anymore. He's just going to basically act and do and, and say what he feels, which can seem like a very noble quality. But at moments like this, where you have no idea what the surrounding circumstances were, you know, based off of this fan's behavior, it almost seems like he was quick to judge and quick to temper. But once again, you know, if you're a performer up there, maybe you're getting heckled, maybe someone's being really disrespectful, maybe it wasn't even toward the band. Maybe he was being disrespectful toward the person that he was with, or disrespectful to people around him. Either way, Corey opted to give him the boot. So that really leads to a really powerful question, and that's, you know, concert etiquette? Is that something that needs to really even exist at metal show? You would never think that that would exist, but here's the one thing that I will say. There's always been sort of a couple of unwritten rules, you know, if somebody goes down, you help them back up, mainly because maybe you were one of them that hit them or got them down, or maybe the mosh pit just sort of swallowed them up and they tripped, you know. There's a certain respect that you give to your fellow concert goers, or at least that's sort of what you, you know, are expected to do, or what you should do. But is it something where now it's going to become a little bit more commonplace for this to happen? I highly doubt it. You know, I think these are isolated incidents that happen to just take place on the same day in two different regions of the world, and of course get headlines considering who it is that, uh, you know, threw the fans out. But I'm going to know what you guys think about this was... Tom Araya in the right for kicking this guy out. Um, I'm one to actually think that, yeah, you know, one of the unwritten rules in my mind whenever you go to a show, you know, if you go to a show to see a band, don't spit on them. That's kind of gross. As far as Corey Taylor is concerned, I'd like to know what the hell the, the, the deal was, you know, before I pass judgment there. But since there is no real information about that, and I highly doubt there's going to be any more information about this, uh, Corey, take a chill pill, brother. But that's just me. If anybody was at that show in Canada where Corey did that and has a little bit more information, maybe you were somebody that was around the person that got booted, let me know in the comments below exactly what was going on and what kind of provoked all of this, uh, if you have any information. If you were at the show in San Diego and uh, experienced this occasion with Palm, uh, let me know in the comments below as well. I want to know uh, sort of what the purveying circumstances were. My name is Cover Killer Nation. Leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.